First we need to duplicate our keyed out dancer to the top, and you can disable the layer for now. Then let's start with the effects. The first one is the find edges effect, and you can drag that to your middle dancer clip. The only thing you now need to do is enable the invert button. The next effect is going to be the alpha glow effect. Again drag it to the middle dancer clip. Here you can decrease the glow to around 10 and disable the fade out. The third effect is going to be the extract effect. Here you can increase the black and white input a bunch until you have something like this here. Select your middle dancer clip, right click on it and choose nest. Now go into that nested sequence and here we can add some more effects. First let's duplicate the clip, then we will use a new duplicate as a track mat. So take the trackpad key effect and drag that to the bottom dancer clip. In the settings set the mat to video 2 and the composite to mat luma. Enable the dancer clip on top and move it to track number 8. Then take the nested sequence and move it to track number 7. You also need to offset it a few frames to the right. Now, the outlines will be delayed and follow the dancer. Next up will be the color and the glow. Take the tint effect from the effect library and drag it to your nested sequence. Now map the white to the color you want. Then the next step will be the glow. Look for the VR glow effect and again drag it to your nested sequence. First lower the luma threshold to zero. Then also decrease the glow radius a bunch. And next up increase both the glow brightness and the saturation to 10. Duplicate of the nested sequence underneath the original nested sequence. Then I added a Gaussian blur to that new duplicate and blurred it a whole bunch. Also decrease the opacity to around 30 or 40. We need multiple neon outlines. So select the finished outlines we already have and duplicate them to track number 4 and 5. Again, I'll set them with a couple of frames and in the tint settings you can change the color. Now duplicate the outlines one more time. Again offset them and change the color. And now we are done. 